So I'm at my uh, fitness center's bathroom slash shower thingy. Um, this one is a vintage straight razor from Germany. I did what? Three two minute rounds? Yeah. That was a three minute round. <laughs> hello, hello. So I'm at my uh, fitness center's bathroom slash shower thingy. It wasn't really convenient to start off the day in my own personal bathroom, so I'm here. I'm gonna start the day off with grooming. Uh, you know, shower, wash my face, shave actually. Shave. So, I'm gonna start the day off here, and then uh, I'm gonna take you on one day with me. We'll see you there. So, this is my straight razor. Uh, I normally shave with a straight razor if I have a lot of time. Um, this one is a vintage straight razor from Germany. It's called the Silver Tone, right there. So yeah, uh, gonna get shaved, wash my face, and then um, brush my teeth, and then uh, get in a shower. <laughs> you know, it's all part of the grooming process. I would have showered at home. The gym has a shower anyway, so I might as well just do everything here, right? Makes sense. Back in the bathroom. I just finished my workout. Did some chest, shoulders, uh, some cardio. 10 minutes of running, 10 minutes on the rower. Uh, I'm gonna rest up a little bit in here, you know, wait until I stop sweating. Then I will go into, uh, we'll go into the next activity. I'll see you there. Okay, so normally I actually uh, don't exercise in the morning, but you know, Morning session boxing is always, or well, it's the norm. So like, we just, I try to go once a week boxing, but lately I haven't had that much time. So it's really nice to come back. You know, I actually get to do this for content. Uh, this morning had uh, just a simple protein shake. You know, you don't want to eat too heavy, especially doing something like boxing, which is a lot of cardio. <laughs> I usually try to hit the gym like three times a week. Uh, depending on how busy I am, but maybe if possible, I, I want to go like every day. All right, I'm not sure if the mic's picking up that low grumbling sound. That's the sound of my brother's motorbike. So uh, I'm gonna greet him when he gets up here. Yo, what's up? Hey, you ready? Let's go. Yeah, Let's give me the rundown again. So the rundown today is that we're gonna go ahead and do some dynamic uh, warm up for about 30 minutes. Right. And then get some combos in. 30 the, minutes? Um, yeah, it's gonna get some combos in on the punching bag. Okay. And then a lot of- that, uh, That's part of the dynamic warm up, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So all in all, we're gonna train for about an hour and a half. Yep. Um, in the beginning, we're gonna warm up stretching, you know. Uh, get a body warmed up and then do some combos for shadow boxing. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and hit the punching bag for a little bit. Yeah, once that's done, we're gonna go on stage. We're gonna do some work together. We'll go through everything that uh, we practiced today. So all, right. all in all, that should be a good workout for you in the morning. All right, sounds good, sounds good. All right, so if you're ready, let's let's get changed and then get stretched. All right, so. yep. Put it down like that, right? Yeah. And then make sure that the wrap is always coming from the inside out. So when you do this, right, you wrap it around three times, support your wrist first. 
This is more of a more time wrap that I like to do like this, right? Okay. Now go forward to your your palms, okay, and wrap it around twice. Once yep. you have it around your palms twice, you're gonna go back down into your wrist like this. Yeah. And then back around, back up. Okay. Now when you're back up here, put it around your thumb. There you go. Back around again, and then back to your wrist. Okay. Once you have that, now you're gonna go ahead and go on your first finger, which is on the pinky, on the ring finger, like this. Yep. Put it around your fist like that. Grasp it. Okay. Go to your wrist again. Forward. Uh, I sort of remember this. Just need a refresher course every once in a while. So let's go ahead and start with the jab. The one. Yeah. Yep. Just listen to my call. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay. Five and six is uppercut. You're, you're, you've got on the right hook. Yeah, but the right hook, you're extending it too far like this. Look, it's... Gotcha. Left. Forward. Forward. Back. Back. Right. Right. Okay. Forward. One, two, three. Backwards. One, two. Backwards. One, one. Left. One, two. Forward. One, two. Backwards, one, two, three. Okay, good. Five is an uppercut left. Six, six is an uppercut right. When you do an uppercut, it's like a stabbing motion. So the target is here. With the left. With the left hand. This is my calls again. You have six punches, okay? Ready? One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, four. Wait, one, two, four three. is this. Oh yeah, four in my back. So I can one, two, four. One, two, four. Okay? Any opportunity you can try and try to move left, right, left, right. Okay? Let's go. Not like that, but body. Body. I'm ready to hit the bag. Uh you know. let, let out his frustrations. I'm ready to just, you know, hit the bag, get some what is it? You know, endorphins rushing. All right, let's go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five is a left uppercut. Six is in the right uppercut. Good. It's putting, it's putting into action what you practice is basically what we're going to do. But the way that we're going to do it is we're just going to be walking on the ring and I'm just going to pull out the targets for you to hit. Okay. You ready? We're just going to keep going. Don't go where you What's it? Let's try again. One, two. Got one. Watch that. Two. Two. Three. <laughs> Three. So, uh, with pad work, we have to follow the instructor's uh, call outs because if you don't, you know, people can get hurt, especially the person holding the pads. <laughs> um, it's, it's tiring because, you know, you're throwing out combos uh, pretty much like non stop. You have to be aware of a lot of things. You know, you got the, obviously the call outs, you're keeping your distance, and then, uh, you know, trying to move around, trying to get into position to, to throw the combos. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna run through a slow fast so. One, two, five. One, two, five. Yeah, one, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six punches. So that was a lie. You said what? Three two minute rounds? Yeah. Well, that was a three minute round. <laughs> Hell, bro. So, last round. Oh, I just need some more water and then we'll get at it. All right. Okay. Uh, round three, last round, right? Yeah, we 
and make sure he's going to be very tired after this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like listening <laughs> like a turkey. <laughs> uh, so, uh, natural music is down. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six. Basic combo one, two, is hard. So, good. Again. 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 Last one. Okay. Last one, come on. Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> so that was a boxing session. Yeah. Honestly, I want to do it every week, but you know, with the schedule the way it is, that's not entirely possible. But I'm glad that we got to do it today. Oh, can you pause? Okay, so Pippet, uh, who is the owner of this fine establishment, has wished me an early happy birthday. It's a Christmas tree cake, and from the description, looks to be a pound cake. So, yeah, it has to be refrigerated though. So I'm gonna quickly get changed and then uh, get this in an air-conditioned car, and then we're gonna go get some lunch. So see you there. Okay, um, so usually we go boxing, uh, I try to go boxing once a week, but with the schedule that's not always possible. And uh, I usually go boxing with my brother. Uh, it's the way that we can, you know, spend time with each other. Because, uh, you know, we're both working, we don't actually have time to like see each other that often. So it was, it was nice to see him today. I'm not sure about sports. I'm not really like a, you know, like, a, uh, let's go play soccer on the weekend kind of guy. But I'm more of a, you know, let's do an activity. So I like to do airsoft. I like to do boxing. I like to, I want to try rock climbing. Uh, yeah, my brother's been rock climbing and he says it's fun. So I want to try that as well. So I'm more of like an, an activity kind of guy. Like, not like, you know, purely just sports. Uh, I do like to read. I try to read uh, when I travel because that's a lot of like when I have a lot of downtime. Um, so I usually I don't really read uh, fiction. I, I always stick to nonfiction. And so yeah, there is in my library there's no uh, uh, fiction books. It's all just nonfiction. I usually like to read business books. Sometimes science books, uh, just depending on my mood. So other than uh, drift cars, which is like a very, very sort of rare activity because, you know, one, we have to be free and we also have to, you know, like uh, bring the car over. So drifting is not that uh, often of an activity, but usually we'll go like uh, airsofting or we'll just go out to hang out to eat and stuff like that. Okay, so right now we're on our way to Patum uh, Thani Speedway. Uh, we're, gonna get, get, <laughs> we're gonna get something to eat first and then we're gonna go see one of my close friends, uh, Hawk. Um, we'll see you at the restaurant. Okay, so right now we're at a Japanese restaurant. We're about to get some food in before we go to Patum Tani Speedway. Um, we were supposed to go there at 1 p.m., but because there is a little issue with the car, the pit crew asked for a little bit extra time to get the car ready. Uh, so, where did you come from, dude? From Shomari, man. Anyway, so Hawk's gonna take us fun. to uh, Patum Tani Speedway to go drifting. So, I see that you brought your your weekend car. <laughs> That's definitely not his daily driver. Anyways, uh, my car. We'll, we will show you what he's driving today, and and will I get to drive it? Today? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I really like to drive his car. I'll show you why. But right now, uh, my food is here. If you don't mind, I'm gonna I'm gonna go yeah, ahead and sure, eat sure. first, uh, and then um, I'm already full. You ordered ready. Yep. So we are gonna eat, and then we're gonna see you at the speedway, or we're gonna take you there in his car. <laughs> See there. Wow, yeah. Hi. Pray that I don't crash this car. I'm not gonna crash. I'm gonna drive very slowly. I'm gonna drive very, very slowly because it's not my car. This is not the first time I've driven this car. But not the first time. Yes, and hopefully not the last. <laughs> okay, I okay. got I got the, it's 24 minutes from here. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember where we're okay. going. Uh, I'm gonna turn on. Yeah, oh, once yeah. you crash, you hear the sound bang. No, once I crash, I hear the sound. You're, you're screaming sound like, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> uh, 
uh, we will see you there. Okay, so we are now at Patumtani Speedway. Uh, as you can see, we uh, dropped the top. <laughs> and now I'm gonna drive up to where we're gonna put up. Man, the steering wheel is pretty heavy. We gotta give it a little bit of Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Quite hot today. It is, but you know. Driving in a Porsche Boxster is not too bad. I don't mind. I don't mind it being hot. This one said I'm hot, eh? Please. <laughs> okay. So now we're here. This is your car, Hawk. Why don't you uh, let me just flip the camera around? Tell us a little bit about this car. Um, so what's the body? The body is Sephiro Nissan Sephiro. Okay. It's like um, the body weight ratio is really good for drifting. Okay, so and it's also cheap to repair as well. Uh, what makes a drift car a drift car? Um, it has to be a rear rear wheel drive, rear -wheel drive only. Yep. only. Yeah, and um, that's gotta have a lot of it. torque. A lot of torque. Yeah, a lot of torque. You gotta change the what the camber of the tires as yeah, well. Yeah, we have to change the cam and like the angle of the tires. Well, you can see that it's a little bit like you know off from a normal car. As you can see right here, it is slightly tilted this way. That's the camber. Yeah. And then uh, this engine. It's a V8, right? Yeah, it's a V8. Um, U3, U3, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is your, this is the radiator, radiator right? Radiator, yeah. And we have our uh, clean air intake right yep. there. Right there's the air filter. Yeah, and then we I have our- I haven't got enough money to put the turbo in. Yeah, let's just say it's a, <laughs> not, <laughs> it was just uh, NA, right? Yeah, Naturally it's a, aspirated. Aspirate. Yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice engine, nice setup. Do you want to wrap it up? All right, let me go change into my driving my, gear. My driving gear. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that was basically me learning how to drift, learning the basics, doing a donut. Right now, we're waiting for the car to get re uh, refueled. Refuel. Refuel. I was gonna say re <laughs> <laughs> So after the car comes back, what are you planning to uh, teach me? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to like drift eight. Like uh, figure eight. Yeah. yeah, figure eight. And I'm gonna show you how to, like, you know, read the line of the circuit and shit, you know. So, like, to like, uh, so drive the course. Yeah, to drive the course. But I probably won't be able to drift the course. I'll probably just be able to drive it. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do, like, um, like corner drift, you know. Uh, one corner. Like, one, one or two corner drifting. Okay. And then but then, like, I probably won't be able to, like, drift, drift the whole course. course. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, it would take, gotcha. like, a lot of time. I mean, I want to be able to come drift more often, but this is only my second time drifting, so. Yeah. But yeah, we'll take you out there again and uh, we'll see you. Uh, start already? Press yeah. start right there. Yeah. No, yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah, cut the tempo. Cut it Yeah, 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 cut it away. Yeah, cut it away. There you go. It's a copper clutch. So it's really hard to drive than like a normal clutch. Yeah.
we're losing daylight and the tires are probably shot already. We had a full day of drifting and uh, today was very fun. It was very fun getting to learn a new skill. Something that I've been interested in learning a long, long time. And um, you know, thank you for teaching me. Dude, I, that first time that I uh, came here, right, to drift, like I only learned like, what is it, 30 minutes? Yeah. It was like a whole entire Absolutely. day. Really, really fun. I want to come back and do more. I want to show uh, more like, interesting unique activities like uh, that that no you know people don't get really to, uh, to see that side of me but yeah so um, we're gonna head out I'm gonna hang out uh, with another friend and then uh, maybe have a little jam session we'll see you there yo what up Sutter? oh yo what's up this is um, the man from the moon <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so we're here in studio on Saturn. Yes, but actually we are on Earth. Anyways, like I said, I was gonna meet a friend, uh, maybe have a little jam session. So you're ready, right? Yep. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you there. Open string six, then go into seven. Three for seven. You're not, you're not. Come. She. She. No, 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 no. Yeah. All right. So, as you guys know, um, I hang out with Jeff every once in a while, especially when it comes to music. He's like. Uh, my go-to when it comes to you know guitars because we both like guitars and then um, you know lately I haven't had much time to like even touch this new guitar yeah and shame so, it's a shame yes it you, really you is can live it here. as you can see <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> as you can see how rusty I am uh, I don't even remember how to read the tabs anymore uh, yeah <laughs> yeah so if you don't use it you know you lose it so like yeah. with like skill like I wasn't even that proficient to begin with with mm -hmm, guitar mm -hmm. but at least I knew how to read the tap ping, but, uh, yeah. I know how to read mm -hmm. the tap but now I completely forgot it and then like my hands feel really really stiff even with the simple riff like enter sandman but you know it made me realize like you need to kind of like recheck yourself see see where you're at and then yeah I need a lot more practice yeah Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go and uh, you know practice more singing. Obviously, I need a lot of work. How are you? Okay. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go do that right now. Uh, I guess we'll see you in the next. I will see you in the next activity. Hey guys, how was it? That was quite a day, wasn't it? <laughs> Full of activities. <laughs> I'm really tired, and so of course the last and final activity is sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really glad that I could take you guys, you know, with me today. And, uh, you know, in the future, maybe we'll have another opportunity to have one day with Bible again. But for now, I just want to tell you guys good night, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.